if you live in America, Independence Day or 4th of July is right around the corner. And every single year, this is one of my favorite holidays to design new t-shirts and products for because I always get so many sales. And one of the things that I love to do pretty much with any holiday, but especially with something like 4th of July, is since it is such a broad category and there are so many other products to compete with, I always like to try to sub-niche and kind of find a unique take on the 4th of July that has less competition, high demand, and I can actually make sales with. So today I am going to show you how I created some new 4th of July designs in a specific niche using the tool Kittle, who is the sponsor of today's video. So if you're not familiar with Kittle, they are an all-in-one print-on-demand design platform. They have everything from design tools to hundreds of different templates that you can use. They have things for making mock-ups. They even have new AI features that is super cool, makes designing really unique products very easy. I'm going to show you exactly how to use that in this tutorial, but they really are just an amazing platform if you are looking for a tool to create a bunch of different print-on-demand products. And Kittle has made it abundantly clear that anything you create on their platform, you are able to sell as a print-on-demand seller. So there is no gray area. It's not hazy. You are able to use all of the assets that you create on Kittle. So we're going to jump right in and create some really cool designs. Now I hope you're not tired of it, but the niche that is still really going strong, I am making tons of sales using this niche, is still that groovy retro aesthetic that everyone is loving. It seems like pretty much every holiday, if you put a groovy twist on it, you're going to make sales. So 4th of July is no exception. If you haven't tried making some groovy retro inspired designs, I definitely want to encourage you to do that and that is exactly what we're going to do here on Kittle today for 4th of July. Now I am on Kittle's platform and as you can see there are so many designs just right off the bat. Any of these you could take and use, change the font, change the graphics, some of the colors, and you can just use them as is. So what I am going to do though is I want to get a little bit more specific because they do have so many hundreds and hundreds of designs. A lot of times you can kind of use this search bar here to find something a little bit more specific. So what I'm going to look for is I want to look for something groovy. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in the keyword groovy here and see what we find. Now. There are so many amazing designs with this groovy aesthetic. I love those wavy letter text that is super popular right now. So there are several here. I'm just going to keep scrolling through and see what really stands out. Now, this one is really cool. I actually have used this one here before for another really fun video. So take a look at that here. But let's see. Okay, so for this first one, I think I'm going to go with this one here that kind of says love is love. This is originally for Pride Month, which is another great niche to target and Kittle has tons of different templates for that, but I'm actually going to change it more to make it an Independence Day 4th of July design. All right, so the first thing that you always want to do when you are creating a new design is figure out what you want it to say. So I have been seeing this phrase kind of trending a lot recently, but I haven't seen anybody do it in this groovy style, so I think it could do really well. And that is the phrase awesome since 1776, the year the United States was founded. This is a really popular phrase with birthday shirts. You can put a birth year on it, but I think it's a really fun take to use it for more of a 4th of July shirt. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the text. What I love about Kittle is that it automatically is just going to keep that text transformation so you don't have to really mess with it once you put in the new word. It's automatically going to fit the style really well. And then now we're just going to start playing around with some of the colors and elements. The first thing I'm going to get rid of is those smiley faces here. If you didn't know, smiley faces are actually a trademark image. So if you do have a smiley face on some of your designs, occasionally those will get taken down if you're wondering why some of your designs have not made it up. Same thing with if you ever put like something that looks even remotely similar to like a VW bus, a lot of times those will just get rejected. People don't understand why because they didn't put the name of that. But sometimes there are certain images that are so closely tied with a brand that that counts as infringing on their intellectual property or their branding. So you got to be extra careful with stuff like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and before I change any of these elements, I'm going to look for 
something with Kittle AI that can just make this a little bit more unique. Now, every time you use Kittle AI, you have the opportunity to create a brand new image that no one else is going to have on their shirts. So a lot of times you see the same kind of graphics and different elements showing up on t-shirts that sell well, but if you can bring something new to the table, that is always going to give you a little bit of an advantage. So I love that Kittle has their whole AI suite right here that you can make something completely new and look for items that are more unique that you wouldn't have been able to find otherwise. All right, so I am thinking that I want something a little bit groovy and fun. It's something I thought about as maybe doing like ice cream or a popsicle, but in like a 4th of July color palette. So I'm going to search something like groovy red, white, and blue 4th of July ice cream popsicle, and let's see what that comes up with. I did this in the kawaii style. Sometimes you'll generate an image and you won't really love it right away, so you can always tweak it, be more specific, be a little bit more vague, and see if it gives you a different result. Sometimes I try this a couple times before I find what I really like. All right, so this kind of really cute 4th of July popsicle is what it came up with. Now, what there is on Kittle is there's an automatic AI background remover. So whenever I create a new image to use on one of my designs, I'm just going to automatically remove the background here. So let's just put that there and start working with what else we have. So first of all, I just want to go ahead and change the color. I think I'm going to put this design on a navy shirt. So I just want to go ahead and do that here. And for this lettering, I think I just want to stick with that classic red, white, and blue. So I'm going to change this pink color to white. And then the border, I'm going to change to the red that's already on here. So we can go through and change all of those. That's looking super cute. I think I'm actually going to make these green hearts red instead. And then I'm going to make this more of a light blue color. So let's see here. I like how that looks. Now I'm going to start changing some of the colors of the flowers too. So let's see here. I'm going to change this yellow color to white and then this purple color I'm going to change to blue. This green I might even do more of a pink color. I think that looks really cute. All right so some of these flowers since they were originally for that other word i'm going to go ahead and ungroup them here and then we can just kind of play with some of the placement so that we can read this all better i'm moving some of these i'm going to ungroup these hearts too all right and then once you are happy with it you're just going to go over here to downloads and then i like to go ahead and change everything to pixels i'm going to change the dpi to 300 and then for t-shirts, you always want to make sure and remove that background. And then I am going to go ahead and download it as a PNG. Now it's ready to use on any of your print-on-demand platforms to put on a t-shirt. All right, so now I am back to all of the different Kittle templates. And for our next design, I thought of going with the phrase that I kind of came up with that says groovy and free. So you see a lot of 4th of July shirts that say something like blank and free. And since we're going with this kind of retro theme, I thought it would be really fun to do something that said groovy and free. So let's see if we can find a design that would kind of go with that. And you really can't go wrong with any of these. You could honestly have the same phrase and put it in a, a bunch of different templates with different retro styles, and that would do really well. Let's see here. Okay, I'm liking a lot of these. But I do like this. It already has a really good placement for what could be the groovy and free lettering. Obviously, we probably wouldn't use those mermaids there. We would find something else, probably using Kittle AI and create a really cool design. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do right away is I am going to delete this texture here. If you are creating a t-shirt, you definitely want to get rid of that texture. And I'm going to go ahead and delete these mermaids right here because I know we're not going to use them. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the wording here to say groovy and free. And I'm just going to move that over to make it a little more balanced. All right, now, since we did get rid of that mermaid there, I'm going to look for something that could replace that. So maybe a groovy flower design or kind of a groovy image that we could do. So I'm going to go over here 
and just start playing with Kittle AI, see what we come up with. Okay, so again, like that other one, I wanted to do something kind of fun and summery. So I looked up groovy red, white, blue, and pink retro cupcake. Now let's see what that makes for us. All right, so it came up with this really cute kind of kawaii cartoony style cupcake. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that background and we are going to go ahead and use this in our design. And I like that it already has those hearts that we have in the design here. So I'm actually going to copy that and then paste another one and use it down in the corner, kind of like what they did for those mermaids, but just with cupcakes instead. Now, what I like to do once I get that image that we're going to use in our design, I'm going to take the other elements in the design and start using the dropper to pick the color that I want these to be. So I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna use this darker blue color here that matches. Also this same one, I'm gonna use that darker blue. And then I'm gonna leave that pink here, but, the, but this turquoise, I'm also going to do that blue color. And then the yellow, I want to do this red color here. That's looking really cool. All right, and then already we have an amazing looking design here. Sometimes what I like to do is just select everything and kind of resize it so it's taking up as much space as possible. All right, now this would look super cute on kind of a woman's groovy retro 4th of July design. Again, I'm going to change this to pixels and then make sure it's 300 DPI, remove the background, and then download this as a PNG and it's ready to use. Kittle is seriously so easy to use. It's one of my top tools for print on demand sellers, whether you're new or a long time seller, just because it has everything you need to create a design from start to finish and so many really amazing features that make all of your designs look super professional. So if you don't have an account with them, I'm gonna link all of their information down below so you can get started. They both have free accounts and some different paid plans. I am working with the expert plan here today and I think it's an amazing value to help you sell more designs in your print on demand business. So consider checking them out. And if you want to see even more ways that I use both Kittle AI and all of the templates on Kittle, make sure you watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.